Hi, I'm Jeffrey Uzongo. Here's a Channels TV Evening News Recap for June the 18th, 2019. President Mohamed Bouhari has signed the Federal Polytechnic Amendment Bill and the National Institute for Security Bill into law. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on National Assembly Matters for the House of Representatives, Mr. Omar Yakubu, disclosed this to journalists at the State House in Abuja. The new amendment seeks to harmonize the tenure of the rectors of the Federal Polytechnics, retirement age of staff, as well as establishment of the Governing Council for Polytechnics and membership of the Council, which will now constitute of five persons and a chairman. Meanwhile, the All Progressives Congress Governors Forum has commended President Buhari for his initiatives on security and the economy, particularly the release of close to 2 trillion naira given to aid infrastructure spending, refunds on federal roads and Paris Club. According to the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum and Governor of Kebi State, Atiku Bagudu, their congratulatory visit to the president is as a result of the support shown to the governors in those sensitive areas. He noted that they have promised to push for greater cooperation between the state and the federal government, as well as to ensure increased investment and security enhancement in conflict zones. Away from the economy, Kano State Governor Abdullah Egandu just says the 6.8 million naira allegedly swallowed by a gorilla at the Kano Zoo was stolen during an armed robbery attack in which a whole safe was carted away. Governor Egandu just said this after a meeting with President Buhari at the State House. The governor also assured the public that investigations are ongoing to unravel why such an amount of money was kept in a zoo in the first instance. On the international scene, Egypt's first democratically elected President Mohamed Morsi has been buried as Paul's mount for an independent investigation into causes of his death after a collapse in a Cairo courtroom. The Islamist leader, who was overthrown in 2013 after a year of divisive rule and later charged with espionage, was buried at the cemetery in eastern Cairo's Medinat Nasser. And in sports, ex-UFO President Michel Platini has denied wrongdoing in connection with a criminal investigation into the awarding of the 2022 World Cup to Qatar. Platini, 63, was in custody and questioned in Nantes in the western Paris suburbs on Tuesday. The French football legend who led European football's governing body from 2007 to 2015 was taken into custody by French anti-corruption police investigating alleged corruption in the 2010 vote to award the competition to the gas-rich Gulf states. And as the evening news recap, don't forget to join us tomorrow for the morning news update. I'm Jeffrey. Thank you for watching.